Hey Moonlighters, welcome back to the channel. We're going to start playing Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. So the synopsis behind this is hunt ghosts as two memorable characters in a story driven action RPG where your decisions carry dramatic consequences. Torn between honoring your oath to the living and saving your departed partner. How far will you go for love? That sounds like a pretty compelling game. So let's get into it. Focus Entertainment presents Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. The clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. Oh, a good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Then we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. Ooh, that's a good beginning, man. Ooh, New Eden. June 7th, 1695. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. If I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime, I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Well, look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse, and twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. 
New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. I think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time. But I don't disagree. Well, there's a curse on this place, huh? Same thing with this. Red and Antia. That's a cool name, Antia. I think we can get through here. Oh. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Looks steady enough. All right. Uh. Stop. Watch out. Red? Oh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. I know, right? Hmm. I can break my way through here. Oh, okay. There we go. All right down there. Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these spectres watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? Mm, that's a good question. Are they keeping them inside? This. Is that some crafting material? Easy as falling off a box. Ooh. 
Can't you tell how long these people are dead? The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't bode well. No, it does not. Attacking with your weapons fills the banish gauge. When the banish gauge is full, press A to banish your target. Time to leave. Call this a fight. Ah, see ya. Hear a note? A note, damp and bloody. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date? I cannot say. I know it is the month of June in the year 1695. I thought we would be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again, and the golden wheat fields that would ring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead, and I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you, run. These people left New Eden town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Good question. Badly for the case. Situation is worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Empty docks in a growing settlement. What a good sign. Are the town selectmen sitting on their arses? Isn't that what selectmen do? There's the inn. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is called, your serving woman may sit while we talk. What? I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thickskin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? 
Why are you guys skating around the fact here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. I rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly, but we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how we found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. Huh. What do you think happened? I could guess, to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the Minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home, and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Yeah, where did they go? Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Mm. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken. Perhaps forever. I mean, man, they are setting a mood, aren't they? Woo! You're a demonologist, you say? 
I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land, and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said, as the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock, as Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same. Because we must. Right. Because we must. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. Jeez. What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. The voice acting's really good. Compass indicates it, the direction. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. How do we know what we're up against? And how we got cursed? Hmm. Let me make a prediction. That guy knows why. That guy knows. And here, red. Come in. Oof, man. The story's got me. Little goosebumps, man. Like it's just. I barely slept Oof. for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these. these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? 
Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends, but that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions, but I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. How were things before? How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now. But I can't imagine it's the same. Not this what governor. can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin New Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so, too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Oh, interesting. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? You stay put. We'll find the way. Hints and intent. You have unlocked your first hint. It contains important information about the person it is linked to. You can refer to these hints at any given moment through the haunting cases menu. A new scotch tune. Okay. Purcell. Could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. I can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. What's this? Letter from Combs, November 1694. My dearest Charles, how delighted I am to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you. And to know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we could not find anything in our archives that matches the description of the events you experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may, pestilence and never-ending winters are a phenomena, perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I give you no, uh, I can give you no answer, be it sorcery, the presence of an icor, or something else entirely we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take notes of your observations. Okay. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Hmm. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. 
Is that like a stain on the wood? Yes, there's some food and ale for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbors hold you in their hearts. There's more to learn here. Let's learn it. A study of H. Purcell's and Gene. Okay, so music stuff. Sadness is a music essay. Sadness in interval or a study of. Okay, some more music stuff. She's a musical type person. What do we got here? A bundle of letters from Charles. Uh, 1687, my sweet Esther. I can't tell you how much I long to get home. This work, the mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting. I can't argue with that, but I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that the few months I had left away from your loving arms will be a great benefit to me. Though this experience I, uh, I will increase my knowledge and all this I do to protect you from those dark worlds that swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into these mysterious enchantments, entrenchments, that pushes me to do my best. Um, only death can extinguish the loves between us, and I'm sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. Well, he's still in the house. Um, 1694, my dearest Esther, I am down and yet you are there to support me. You are an angel from heaven to help me in my dark mission. And yet I feel so sorry for bringing you to this tortured land. So pretty much he's sorry for bringing here so they can't raise a family and stuff. How pleasant to see these old familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Okay. Let's take a look. Charles is still here and Esther is completely destroyed. She lost him and now he's back. A ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. What is this? A precious king from a chess set, protected by a glass dome. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me. Yeah, map of the world, from back then at least. Oh. Remember when he started to wear these? To look wiser and older. <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Theological book from Charles's personal collection. Theological book, you know, again. Charles notes, none of this side of the water and few on the other know that I came to New Eden, New Eden as a minister in order to pers uh, pursue research into the New World on behalf of the Brotherhood. But what strangeness have I found? There are ghosts here. Yes, old and innumerable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the word out loud, but I suspect there be witches. If I find one, I shall very much like to ask for her story. Interesting. Cold book. Scribbled Bible verses. Job 7. Uh, when I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. Then thou scarest me with dreams. And terrifies me through visions, so that my soul 
chooseth strangling and death rather than my life. She comes to me in dreams. Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm? What is that? Charles's notes. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions? Foreshadowing? Is someone behind us? Who is the real target and who caused this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our, or into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest. And this cannot perdure. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Investigate the haunting case to unlock information. I'm guessing he lingers to help us figure this out, right? Maybe, maybe not. Where do nightmares come from? Nightmare has nothing to do with nocturn... Interesting, okay, so... Nightmare has nothing to do with a nocturnal female horse. As of the French... Uh, oh, so this gets into, like... This gets into, like, the meaning behind the word nightmare. A nightmare is not a punny fiend sneaking into the bedrooms to suffocate the dreamers, but one of the rarest and most powerful spirit defined by its only purpose, to spread its insidious and unforgiving wrath upon any living soul it may reach. According to my research, no occultist ever successfully banished a nightmare. But why? Could a nightmare be more than a ghost? I'm afraid so. Is a brooch, a silver brooch, worn by Charles Davenport. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Where has she been sleeping then? Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? <laughs> like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. What's this? Un unsent letter to Esther's sister. My dear sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell left, uh, right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happens it happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial. The shame of it. However, how I have failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died. There to see him buried. Lord, have mercy on us and guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved hu beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left to me, but I, th I thought that you, who loved him so, should know of his passing. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got... Doctor's note, three drops of lavender oil and chamomile infusion before sleep. Wintergreen to rub between palms and behind the ears three times a day. If restlessness persists, use lemon bulb. I could have made it manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. What's this? Children's Psalm. Low children are... The heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. All right. Let's go talk to... Let's go talk to our friend, huh? Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? With all that's happened... How are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? 
Did I fail, Charles? None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You were in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But... Now Charles is gone, and my nightmares have changed. I bet. In my sleep, I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him. None respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. Jeez. We must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. Alright, let's go. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. That poor woman. You'll be alright. I doubt it. But I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles we shall. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye. You too. Objective and locations marked with your map. Okay. Okay, so we need to take a right. Oh, apparently it tells us Okay. Okay, so how big is this map? Oh, wow. Okay. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport, his death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Tell it. me about the curse, if you will. I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and, I fear, foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail. If you please. A banisher must have charms. A trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. Oh. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death, weather too, so much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. 
Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. Oh, did you see that in the background? It was like a... Something was floating around. Do you have bad dreams? The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. Whoa. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it, unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Uh, I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> oh, you're so nice. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. I have no idea what I what I need, so. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. Yeah, you're telling me. What's that? Something fun. What do we got here? It's just a bunch of old junk. Oh, this so close to town. Cemetery is closed by order of the governor. Yeah, I can imagine. Where are you leading me? Yeah. More of you? Oh. Down you go. No one is safe here. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. We should be doing this alone, Antea. As a banisher, you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to these elements, your bane rings will be triggered and light up with an orange aura. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. See the rings. I'm guessing this might be. Huh. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. 
memories of the dead linger here to reveal them, you must gather the necessary resources. Seashore candles and pyrite. Seashore candle and pyrite will do the trick for the ritual. Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? Maybe. It's like shh. This mother, this mother must be rocks business. Pie right around here somewhere. Hmm. Charles. Dad. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. Apparently, he didn't think he could wait. Many dead in more recent years. Here's what we're looking for, huh? Mm. Right there, I see it. Above me. Aha, I didn't look I didn't look hard enough. There you are. That's all I need. Banishers can perform rituals. The nature of the site determines which ritual should be performed. Performing a ritual consumes, uh, consumes resources, even if you select an incorrect ritual. Oof. To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You have no shell! No ties! No purpose! No. 
but neither do Is this his book? Charles's Bible. Found half buried in the mud of the cemetery. It's opened at Job 13 to 15. When I say my yeah, so this is this tie is doused with the essence of Charles's ghost. After a closure performed by Antea, the bond between the ghost and the world will be severed for good. The tie that binds his ghost. With it I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Oh, I believe his grave is over here, right? Should be right here. Force a ghost respecter to appear. Force a scourge to appear. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, Ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And here, here, at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Why not wait? Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Interesting. Hmm. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Antea, 
Do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the Meeting House. Perhaps the Light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. What? I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose? Where might I find them? They... vanished. <laughs> In the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed... amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. How does its malevolence manifest? It poisons minds and sickens bodies. It draws spectres to it and sours the weather. It delivers nightmares to one's sleep. For a time, screams tore through the night as folk awoke in terror. When it appeared to me, I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. She was... Love. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost. And I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your soul. Antea, wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? 
Why have you come back? You must leave. Please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. That's a heck of an ask. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. Did she hide his notes? My child. Where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. Man, it's been what, an hour? And I already actually care about what's going on with these people? Did a pretty good job of the story so far. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. You should get some sleep. You'll need it. All right, lady. Banisher techniques, huh? We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles?
that wasn't Charles, and Charles would have done the same. Charles would have done the same, let's say that. Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. If the man. As banishers, we bring closure, or the dead have no business with the living. Ooh. Let's just say, as banishers, we bring closure. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to? You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you with me. I'd do anything for you, and then I'd say I'll do anything for you. You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be... Uh, what did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. Oof. He can't. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. For Esther. Oh. oh. Oh, crap. Okay. That's the kind of dream we're having. Okay. And Taya. Oh. She took her fire bean. <laughs> she says I'm the reckless one. Dead. Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting house, are you? Holy. <sighs> Woo! Well, that looks promising. Who's there? And there? This over here. Something's over. Something's over here. Okay, so we do need to. We need to go this way. Why would you go up there alone? Take a guess and say she saw your death. And here. <laughs> Seems everywhere is closed, huh? <laughs> Don't suppose you specters have seen Antea, have you? Me. 
Gotta get up there, we gotta get up there. I had to guess she she dreamed of seeing you die. Three blind mice. See how they run. See how they run. Three blind Taya? Mice. See how they run. See how they you see? We never stood a chance. Antea, are you hurt? Where are you? Wait, was she there a minute ago? I'm here, my love. What happened? Yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? Be not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where is Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, the fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. Holy crap! Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Your lover will betray you too! We are not your enemy! Oh. Where's Antea? 
If you've laid a finger on her... You're what? Come to her aid? Oh, there is no aid. There is only... only... Oh. Retribution. Give him back. How touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your manner, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. <gasps> oh. to her aid now when all is lost. If you do, I'll be waiting. Wow. Ooh. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Banishers. Ghosts of New Eden. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go! Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him, then answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? <sighs> of course it matters. It means you're alive, and you haven't given up. Who sent you? 
who sent you? Her name is Ceridian, and my hands and words are hers. Beyond that, don't burden yourself. Who is she? Sir Hadin. This little seeker who asked you to find me, is she Scots or something? It's Ceridian. She's too old to be from anywhere in particular, and while, yes, I found you, she told me where to look. This nightmare, how it spoke, how it tore right through. I've never seen the like of it. Few have. Fewer have lived to tell of it. What drew such a powerful spirit here? Who knows? Something awful, I don't doubt. The worst angers rise from the most terrible wrongs. A friend said that. He was trying to warn us. An immutable law. You have wise friends. What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. Mm. Have faith. You say that you do not know me. Easy said. Harder done. What comes easy in life tends not to matter. It's the hard stuff that counts. You've a hole in you. A yawning grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why'd you pull me from the water? What's your business with me? I have no business with you. But my mistress does. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Home. To Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if... or when I need to? Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again, then. That's right, Banisher. Now... Turn around. What? I'm leaving.